hey, this is automated a lot, and if you want to track an external conversion and unbounce, you can do this with a little JavaScript. This, however, has a few dependencies. So first, the page from which you want to track the conversion on your original landing page has to be on the same domain. So for this example, I'm using automatedlot.com for the original landing page and also automatedlot.com for the page that triggers the conversion on the first page. But in between can be on any domain you like. So for example, if you have a product configurator, which is hosted on a different domain or on the same domain, it's all fine. But the final page has to be on the same domain because the script you're using to track the external conversion has to have access to the cookies set on that domain. Now to get started, first let's install the script on the final conversion page. And in this case, I only use two pages. So I have the landing page and the conversion page, which fires a conversion on the first page. But you can set in between as many pages as you like as long as they are not unbounce pages, because what the script does is it looks for the last unbounce page visited and sets the conversion counter for that page plus one. So for example, if you have some pages on the same domain in between, also from unbounce, it would set the conversion counter for that page plus one, but not your original landing page. Okay, but again, let's first install the conversion script for that. Let's go to edit. And if you look here under goals, you can see external conversion tracking, which is also explained in the Unbounds documentation. And if you click on further info on conversion tracking, you get to the documentation page. And down here, you get the explanation how to implement this and also the script. So let's just copy the script, go to the conversion page, add a JavaScript, and let's call this external conversion. Placement has to be before by the end tag and paste the script. And now for this page we are done, so we can save and republish. And here you see this is the conversion page. And for the original page, we have also go to edit. And first let's drag in the button, which will redirect to our conversion page. Let's call this convert now. And as URL, we are using the URL for the conversion page. So back to overview, copy this URL and paste it as target. And now we have to make sure that all conversion goals are deselected, otherwise the script won't work. So deselect all those checkboxes and now we can save and republish. and open the live page. And now you see, if I go to the overview for this live page, the view counter and visitors counter will go to one. So let me refresh. This might take a while. But as you can see, we have now one visitor and one view, which is me opening up this page in the browser. And if I click convert now, we get redirected to the new page, but this wasn't tracked as conversion, at least not the click of the button because we have no conversion goals here, but the script on this conversion page is fired. So we get conversions one here also. So let me refresh and show you. And there we have now our one conversion and between these two pages, so our conversion page and the first page, again, you can set as many pages as you like, but they can't be unbound pages on the same domain. So if you have a product configurator or some lead generation tool which is hosted externally and after that you're redirecting to a thank you page you can fire the conversion script to track the conversion on your original landing page okay and that's it thanks for watching if you liked the video please leave a thumbs up if you really liked it and want to see more of our stuff subscribe to the channel and if you have questions or feedback leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you asap see you next time